Hello everyone. Trevor the tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us, so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go Mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertiliser on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snow plough. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new and ready for spring, summer, autumn and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. Danny the digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky, mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today? Can you help me count them? One. Two. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the fabulous forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader, loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle 4 won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number 5, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger, with his brand new Extra Scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck. Always tips stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things. Always has a smashing time. It's Ryan the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh! Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Danny the Digger's here today. He doesn't need fixing. He's helping me. He's going to do some digging and moving so that we can build a new surprise part of Gecko's garage. First we need this ground all flat. Danny, do you think you can help with that? Well done Danny, that's nice and smooth. Now there's even more soil for you to move. I need you to dig me four large holes, so they can hold four metal poles. The first hole needs to be at the top on the left. The second hole at the top on the right. 
the third hole at the bottom left and the fourth hole at the bottom right. The holes you've dug are what we need for our new project to succeed. At digging holes you are the best, let's let the mechanicals help with the rest. Go, go mechanicals! One pole in each of the holes. One. Two. Three. The floor goes at the bottom. That part goes on the left and that part goes on the right. Those bits go at the back and those go at the front. And the roof goes on the top. Uh-oh, Danny. The roof has to go very high up. Can you help the mechanicals to lift it on? You're a good friend, Danny. We are so lucky. But all that digging has made you mucky. So you'll be the first to splish and splosh in our brand new Gecko's Garage Car Wash. I wonder who will be helping today? Oh look, here comes Bobby the bus over the hill. Bobby spends his days travelling around town, picking people up and dropping people off. He's a very helpful little bus. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello Bobby, what's wrong? Are your tyres flat? Are your windows broken? Have your lights stopped working? What do you think is wrong with Bobby? It sounds like your fuel tank is nearly empty. Shall we give you a top up? Fill, fill, fill. Let's fill up your tank. For all of this fuel, I'm sure you'll thank. Let's fix that light that was so dim. Full, full, full. Full to the brim. There. All filled up and ready to go. Bye bye, Bobby. See you again soon. I'm glad we could help Bobby, and now Bobby can help his passengers to get where they need to go. But oh dear, it looks like something's wrong with Millie the motorbike. Millie, Millie, come in Millie. You better come over to Gecko's garage right away so we can take a look at your problem. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hey Millie, are you feeling okay? You look very wobbly. Are you finding it hard to balance? Go, go mechanicals! Let's check you over, find out what is wrong and get it fixed. 
The mechanicals know how it feels to have a problem with your wheels. They've checked you over and found the fault. A nut is missing from this bolt. They fixed you up. You'll soon be cheering. Let's go outside and test your steering. Let's see how good your steering is now, Millie. Can you drive in a circle? Fantastic. Now, how about a triangle? Brilliant. One more go. How about a square? Are you ready to join me and the mechanicals for Gecko's Garage ABC? Let's get started. That is for Amber the Ambulance. She'll help if you fall down. Ba is for Bobby the Brilliant Bus. He'll drive everyone into town. Ka is for our cool car wash to make our vehicles shiny. Da is for Danny the Digger. He digs holes, huge or tiny. E is for everyone's engines that keep their wheels turning. Fa is for Fiona the fire truck who sprays things when they're burning. Ga is for our garage, where this video starts and ends. Also, Ga is for me, that's Gecko, always here to help my friends. Ha is for noisy honking horns, to let you know we're here. It is for icy roads and parts, that Trevor the tractor helps to clear. Ja is for our hydraulic jack, lifting vehicles off the ground. Ka is for all our vehicle's keys that sometimes can't be found. La is for Larry the lorry, lugging parcels from place to place. Ma is for Max the monster truck, who likes to jump and race. And also for Millie the motorbike, who really enjoys the chase. Na is for new number plates, so that we know who's who. O is the garage oil can, keeps them running good as new. P is for a nice new coat of paint, when scratches are a pain. Q is for queuing at the car wash to clean that mud off again. R is for Rebecca the recycling truck, collecting old things to make into new. S is for Sophie the sports car, sometimes pink, sometimes yellow or blue. T is for Tony the taxi, he really knows his way around. Trevor the tractor works down at the farm, digging and seeding the ground. Ah, uh, is for under this mystery sheet. What have those mechanicals found? Yes, va is for Vicky, the van, who you might meet next time around. Wa is for wheels that we change when the old ones wear through. is for x-ray machine that we use to get a clear internal view. Ya is for yard, 
used to test all our vehicles to see if we fix them up right. And za is for zoom, when they're back to full speed. We're heading off to our spare parts store today. It's on the other side of town, so Helen the helicopter is going to fly us there. Go, go Helen! The store is where we keep all of the spare parts for the vehicles we look after. It's in an awful mess, so we're meeting Florence the forklift truck there. She's going to help us get things tidy. Hello Florence, I'm so glad you offered to help. Some of the spare parts are far too heavy for me and the mechanicals to lift by ourselves. Should we go and take a look inside? Oh dear, just look at this mess. I try to keep things tidy, but we've been so busy lately. Let's try sorting everything by size, shall we? Small, medium and large. much tidier, but there aren't many big or small parts, but there's loads of medium sized ones. There isn't enough room for them all. We'll have to try something else. How about sorting the parts by shape? Circles, squares and triangles. Hmm, we have lots of wheels and other circle shapes, and we have lots of parts and square boxes, but no triangles. Let's try again. How about sorting the shapes by colour? That might work. Red, yellow and blue. Uh-oh, we have a place for all the red, yellow and blue parts, but what about all of the other colours? No, this won't do. One last try, let's try sorting by vehicle. So, bike, car and van parts on the left, truck and bus parts in the middle and construction vehicle parts on the right. Perfect! A place for everything, and everything in its place. Very tidy. Oh no, Florence, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Your lifting forks look damaged. The mechanicals will get you some replacement forks. At least we know where to find them, now that the store is tidy. You're a construction vehicle, so your parts will be over on the right. I'll go outside and call Helen to take us back to the garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help, a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you to see if there's anything else wrong. Mm, no, it looks like just your forks are broken. We'll soon get you fixed up. Oh, hold on a minute. What on earth is that noise? Can you hear it? Oh, I know who that sounds like. It's Max, the monster truck, and it sounds like he's heading this way. Max, the monster truck. Don't be scared, he's not a real monster. 
A monster truck is just a truck with giant wheels. He really is very friendly. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya Max, I'm sure that we can fit you in. What seems to be the problem today? Oh, look at that. You've got something stuck in your tyre. It's a horrid rusty nail. I hope it's not hurting you too much, Max. I think the first job is to remove it. The rubber tyre is the outside part of the wheel. Max's tyre is filled with air, which keeps it hard, but if there's a hole in the tyre, it'll go flat. That's called a puncture. That hole looks very big and difficult to fix. But luckily for you, Max, I think we might have a spare wheel just the right size. What a big hole. Your tyre's all flat. It's got no air. We can't have that. We'll find a nice new wheel just for you. Let's fix you up. There. Good as new. Hang on. That's not right. That's a tiny bicycle wheel. We need something bigger than that. No! That's a car wheel! It's bigger than a bike wheel, but still much too small for Max. That lorry wheel is bigger still, but not big enough for Max. Now you're just being silly. That looks the right size, but a square wheel is no good. Wheels have to be a circle. There we go. That wheel is huge. Just right for Max the monster truck. Now your new tyre is fitted. You're as good as new. Bye bye, Max. Max looks happy again, and now he can go back to the racetrack and finish his monster truck show. I'm waiting for Rebecca the recycling truck. She says she's got a problem sorting her recycling. Here comes Rebecca now. She looks unhappy. I wonder how we can help her. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Hello, Rebecca. Let's take a look and see what we can do for you today. You've got cans, bottles, paper, plastic and food waste all jumbled up. What a mess. Everything should be sorted into different piles, but it looks like your crew keep forgetting what to put where. How many bins do you have? One. Two. Three, four, five. Your recycling is all a jumble. But really, there's no need to grumble. Let's put some signs up here and there to help your crew learn what goes where. One, metal. Two, glass. Three, Paper. Four. Plastic. Five. Food waste. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. There. That's much better. Thanks to those labels, your crew will know where everything goes. Bye bye, Rebecca. So glad we could help. Recycling is very important because it looks after our planet that we all live on. Well done, Rebecca. Keep up the good work. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. I wonder who will need our help next time. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!